that you can multiply. Um, so in reality, in this problem, I have 1 over x squared plus 5 times the square root of 2 minus x. Well, when you're adding, frac adding and subtracting fractions, you cannot sleep. You have to have common denominators. But when you're multiplying fractions, you just multiply straight across. So there you go. There's my product. It wasn't that bad, was it? Pretty simple math. However, we still want to go ahead and take a look at our domain. So we notice that um, the domain and the denominator is all real numbers. So there's no constraints down there. We don't have to worry about that. Yes? Yes, this is the only domain that has a restriction on it, or only function that has a restriction on it. So if I was going to identify the domain, it's negative infinity to 2. <laughs> 